Yo, what's going on guys? We are gonna be picking some winners for the 200,000 subscriber giveaway I did. A couple, uh, let's see, it was last week. So, just gonna hang out here with you guys and uh, pick some winners. So, what we had to give away was some Cerakote, trim coat stuff, and then we also had this uh, brake rotor guard from Rocky Mountain, Tusk brand. Also had a $50 gift card to Prime MX. So yeah, we're uh, giving some cool stuff away. So once again, thank you guys for all of the subscribers, 200,000, that's pretty crazy. So yeah, I'm pumped. And we will have a new video coming out pretty soon. I was hoping to get it up today, but you know, busy at the lake, busy hanging out. So chances are it's gonna be up, I wanna say probably tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow or Tuesday. So stay tuned. You know, keep you guys keep your eyes out for that one. Rick, been here since sixty thousand subscribers. That's crazy, man. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. Logan Henry says, "How you feeling? I'm doing awesome, man. I'm uh, I'm pumped right now. I'm feeling awesome and back to work. See, we had someone." Yo, I met you during the Supercross at CenturyLink. Yeah, that was cool to see you guys out there. That was such a good time. We'll be out there uh, next year as well. Thank you, Isaiah. Appreciate that. Ryder Lee, nice beard, bro. Thank you. Beard's coming in crazy. I know. I, I think it's growing faster than it was before. It's pretty insane right now. Say my name. Ty Pittman, what up? It's funny how many how many comments are at the about the beard. It's crazy because before I never really uh, grew a beard, and then when I got sick, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna grow it out because I knew I was gonna lose my hair anyways, and uh, I just let it grow out, and then I lost it all. I was really bummed about that, and now I'm able to grow it again, so I'm pretty pumped. Just found this channel a couple weeks ago, rebuilding a 95 CR250. Awesome, man, those are fun bikes. I would love to uh, to build an older CR250. Some of you guys are asking about what we're giving away in, oh, let's see, I think it was last Saturday or Sunday I posted a video, um, 200,000 subscriber giveaway and giving away a brake rotor guard here. Bring it back, show you guys a little bit. Uh, billet aluminum tusk uh, rotor guard. These things are pretty sweet. And then also a uh, product I've been using lately, it's called Cerakote Trim Coat. It restores plastic back to like a new shine. So if you have uh, faded plastic, especially like plastic on dirt bikes, it's so scratched up and faded from being outside and just riding the bike. So this stuff right here is the ticket. That's what you want to, uh, so what do you want, what you want to use on that? Uh, bringing your bikes to the Washougal show and shine. Trying to try to remember when that is. Is it August sometime? That would be really cool to bring those out. So I'm gonna pick the winners pretty soon here. Probably a couple more minutes here. We got 260, 260 people in here. So um, how I'm gonna do this, let me see here. I'm gonna flip the camera around. So I've got, um, anyway, oh, let me show you guys. So how I had you guys enter was just pop in your email address on, whoops, let's see this video here. And so what I did is I compiled all those email addresses here in a spreadsheet. And I'm just gonna go through randomly and uh, pick some winners out of here using just a random number generator. So I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes here, make sure get some more people in here, get it rolling, and then uh, pick some winners. So got those three prizes I mentioned earlier. So pretty stoked to give this stuff away. And this was open to anyone in the world, really. I mean, if you're in Australia or uh, United States or anywhere around the world, I'd be happy to ship it, ship this stuff to you. Uh, do you like fishing? Um, I I fished a little bit uh, when I was younger, but 
Not really a whole lot. I do enjoy it though. I just don't have the patience for it. Can I still join? Sorry, the uh, the giveaway is going on right now. It's all it's all closed off. Peanut butter or chocolate? Man, peanut butter is my, my jam for sure. Let's see what else we got here. You used to live in Bellingham, Washington. That's not too far away. Super jet video coming out. I would love to get a, uh, a video on that. Um, haven't been able to ride the super jet that much. I took it out a couple times and I honestly just hurt myself on it. I'm kind of a kind of a injury prone right now. Uh, favorite bike you own? Um, hmm, probably my 125 because I've ridden that bike quite a lot, and that thing is so much fun. I mean, I would say the 250, but I've never ridden it, so I can't really comment on that too much. Um, the TTR 125, I sold that bike uh, a couple years ago. So, all right, I think it's time to give some stuff away. Let's uh, let's jump on the spreadsheet here. Here we go. We got a list of everyone that entered. It's kind of jumbled. I wish it was more organized, but it's got the email addresses, got the numbers in there or the names in there. So basically, what we're gonna do is the first thing we're gonna give away is this Tusk Rotor Guard. And so how we're gonna do that is find out how many people entered. We had 1876. So this right here is gonna pick a random number between one and 1876. And I'm gonna correlate that to the spreadsheet. So we've got 1539. Let's go find number 1539. Sorry if this is a little bit shaky. Uh, 1539. Hopefully the guys that win are here on the stream. That would be pretty cool. So we've got Zach Robinson. And so Zach, I'm going to send you an email. I've got your email address here. I don't really want to show it, but um, I'll send you an email. You are the winner of the Tusk Rotor Guard. So congrats, man. All right, what the heck happened to the screen? Went all blue. Anyways, um, the second thing we're giving away is Cerakote Trim Coat. If you guys have not tried this stuff yet, it's unreal. Like if you wanna restore faded plastic or scratched up plastic, not so much scratched up, but more like scuffed to the point where it's like dull looking, this stuff right here will restore it and keep um, keep the shine for up to 200 washes, it says. I've used it quite a bit on uh, gas tanks, um, air boxes. I use it on the CR250 air box. You guys have to have to give this stuff a try. I think they do a free um, sample over on the Cerakote website. I think you just go to, uh, let's see here, Cerakote.com, and they have a, a spot where you can enter to get, or just get a free sample, just one little pack. So this has uh, 10 packs in there. All right, enough BS, let's go ahead and, why does it keep going blue? Let's go ahead and pick the, the winner for that. Why is this thing being stupid? Okay, D generate a new number here, 343. All right, that's gonna be way up here on the list. 343. All right, so the name on that is Connor. Um, Connor, Connor Kramer, it looks like. So, Connor Kramer, you are the winner of the Cerakote trim coat. I'll send you an email and get your shipping address to mail that out. Now, the third thing we're giving away, a lot of you guys know I own Prime MX. This is the website. I wish it would stop being stupid. It's like the, the monitor is being jacked up. Okay, there it is. So a lot of you guys know I own Prime MX, sell you know apparel, cleaning supplies, bunch of cool stuff over here. So the third one is, the third prize is a $50 gift card over to Prime MX. So let's go ahead, go over to the generator again. Number 85, 
figure out who 85 is. 85 is going to be Jesse Fink. So Jesse, make sure that's correct. Yep, 85. Jesse Fink, you are the winner for the third prize, Prime of X gift card for 50 bucks. So congrats to all you guys. I will be sending you all emails and getting that stuff over to you. All right, we have finished up our uh, little 200K giveaway. Hope you guys, the one, are on here. That would be super cool. So yeah, we're gonna be doing lots more, uh, lots more giveaways in the future. And I just wanted to, you know, say thank you again for 200,000 subscribers. That's crazy. Doing a little giveaway like this is the least I could do for you guys supporting the channel and just uh, really supporting my dream of, you know, working on on dirt bikes and stuff. Damn, thought I won. My name is Jesse Dam. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Next video on the 250, that is going to be tomorrow or Tuesday. I was hoping to get it up today, but just kind of ran out of time. And uh, you know how it is. I, I like to put a lot of effort in the videos and make sure they're 100% dialed before I upload them. CR500 build next. That is definitely in the plans as far as the next build. Um, that won't be a 500. I don't have a, the hookup on a 500 quite yet, so... That'll have to be for a, a later build, but definitely gonna be in the plans. How fast you gonna have, gonna a bike? What's that? Uh, can I please have a signed hat? I tell you what, if you order a, a hat on the website and put a note in the, uh, the order details, I'll go ahead and sign it for you. And I'll sign your your uh, order pages while I do that on, on every order I, anyways, but yeah, just mark it down in the comments, then I'll uh, I'll uh, sign a hat for you. You guys got any any interesting questions? I want to know what you guys were up to today. Figure out uh, if you guys were out riding or work on your bikes or or what. Awesome cam, thanks again. Look forward to every vid. Thanks, Master D. Appreciate that. Dalton says, let's go ride, dude. Yeah, I wish I could ride right now. It's not not quite there, not quite cleared to go ride, but when I can, let's freaking go. Hoping to take that 125 out pretty soon. Do you own any road bikes? I do have, a, what is it, a YSR 50. It's like a little mini, mini crotch rocket. You guys will probably see that on the channel. Or I've, I don't know if I've shown it before. I think I have, but um, we're going to be Working on that thing, it's a little bit, um, needs a little bit of work. Are your eyebrows still growing? They're growing. They're, uh, they're a clear brow, so they're not ever going to be super sweet. <laughs> Baby shower and fishing all day long. That sounds pretty good. Do you have skid plates? Yep, I run a works connection on both the 125 and the 250. So they have nice thick aluminum one those things are the way to go plastic skip plates are, are uh, pretty good too let's see are electron carburetors worth the money hmm that's a good question i do have one i haven't run it yet unfortunately this uh 250 has electron on it but from what i've seen around on the internet and just reviews in general they have people have really good luck with them and people are pretty stoked with them. So um, if you don't want to jet your bike anymore and you just want to just go and rip, I would say Electron's worth the money. Was Devin ever into dirt bikes like you? Oh yeah, he was all into dirt bikes. We built a ton of bikes growing up, did a lot of riding. Um, he actually had, he was actually in a two strokes a lot, long time before I was. So yeah, he's always been into it. Been pretty cool. My other brothers are into bikes too. Get a fuel injected bike, won't need the Electron. But nah, if you, if you got a two stroke, you gotta, they don't really make fuel injection for them. So you gotta run Electron. Is there a way to get scratches out of my plastics? You could, 
What I did in the past was uh, take a razor blade and you can kind of scrape around the, the material around the scratch to kind of um, flatten out that scratch and then sand it and then use a torch or use like this um, gloss product, the Cerakote trim coat to um, give it a, a nice gloss finish. Or you can, I think I said, use a torch. So you heat it up and that plastic kind of melts and it also like, creates a gloss, gloss look. Uh, why did Devin move over to cars? Um, he's always been more into the car scene than, than bikes. He still has, he still has bikes and stuff, but I think he just, he enjoys cars more. Uh, do you have any tips working on bikes? I got a lot of tips. Um, as far as one tip in general, I would say just honestly, just have fun with it. I know you can get old working on bikes, having to fix stuff, but if you make it fun, and you're you're always gonna enjoy it. Like just you know, find cool cool things to do on it. You know, find a way to appreciate it more. And you always enjoy working on bikes. Um, do you go over giveaway stuff yet? Yeah. So I gave away the trim coat, the uh, rotor guard, and the gift card already. So when this video is wrapped up, the live video is wrapped up, I'll post the video on my YouTube, and you guys can go watch see who uh, won that stuff. How did you start out with your business? Good question. That started out, uh, I think I was around 12 or 13. <clears throat> and I just wanted to uh, find find a way to pay for my hobbies, honestly, like I wanted to, uh, first of all, I needed a, you know money to pay for to fix my bikes and fix it the cheapest way. And so I originally started just by having my, so my first business was partying out dirt bikes and that started because I was um, needing parts for my own bike and I was realizing, okay, this is tough to go and buy brand new parts when you're, you know, 13, 12 years old. And so I, or luckily enough, I had a little parts bike and um, I would just rob parts off of that. So long story short, I figured out how, figured out that uh, selling parts individually on eBay or online, you could uh, you could make a lot more money that way, and so that's really how it started out, just from being into dirt bikes and needing to make um, make, en meet, make ends meet with riding dirt bikes. That's basically it. Are you gonna ride the CR250 or build a glass case for it? Definitely gonna ride it. Might might throw in a glass case once I'm done, but we'll see. It's definitely gonna get dirty though. I'm not. I didn't put all this time to. Uh, just let it sit in the shop and be a shop queen. Where's the best place to buy parts? You guys know Rocky Mountain. That's pretty much where I get all of my all my stuff from. OEM, aftermarket, riding gear. Um, shoot, they pretty much have everything. I think I basically get everything from them. No trailer queens allowed. Yep. Not around here. What was your first dirt bike? That was a 1979 XR80. I think I talked about this in the, the last video I posted, but um, my two brothers and I went in, paid $120 for this bike, and uh, we shared it for a couple years. So that was the, the very first bike. That's what really got, got us started on it. Uh, worst dirt bike crash. I would, let me think. I think it's when I separated my shoulder. Um, honestly, I've never really had that bad of a dirt bike crash. The other one would have been when I knocked my chin. Actually, you can't really see it, but I have a, some stitches on my chin here or a nice little scar there. That knocked me out pretty good. But nothing, nothing too crazy. Do you party? No, I work. That's all I do. No, honestly, like... You know, I, I do hang out and I have fun, but um, right now I I obviously can't drink. I can't, there's a lot of things I'm, I restrict myself on just because of uh, health reasons. So um, I party and I have fun, but nothing crazy. How's your day going? It's been good. Just hanging out, enjoying a Sunday. Went out to the lake, 
we uh, hopped on the boat, just tooled around the, the lake and jumped in. So it was a nice chill Sunday. Biggest dirt bike jump, that would have been, let's see, the last trek I had was at my parents' house. And that was, there was a jump that was pretty close to a Supercross triple. So I wanna say 70, 75 feet. If I, I'll show you guys a picture of it. It was actually pretty cool. Um, that was a fun, a really fun jump. I'm gonna find a picture of that. Show you guys what it looked like. Um, here's the best picture I have of that jump. So the takeoff was over here, landing was over there. So yeah, it was a good, good size jump, a lot of fun. Uh, would you let people win a chance to ride your track? Someday it would be cool to have people out here, but it's, it's tough with insurance and liability. Um, a lot of times you know, with having having a private track, if you let people ride it, you know, there's a lot you take on um, as a landowner. And it's a long story short, or like in a in a nutshell, like it's tough to have people out here, but possibly someday. How many bikes do you own? Um, that let's see here. I think I'm at eight, seven or eight. When's the last time you went trail riding? That was uh, right before I got sick, actually. So um, I posted a video that went up on my 125 with a couple of buddies. And uh, yeah, we went trail riding. And then three days later, four days later, I was diagnosed with cancer. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, Dalton, that's true. It is very, very risky to let people ride, even with a waiver. There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of issues there. TNT Moto, thank you, man. Congrats on your 200K. Yeah, 300, I'm coming up on 300. Which countries have you been to? Let's see, I've been over to, uh, let's see, I've been to Canada, Japan. That's pretty much it. I'm not much of a traveler, but we'll, we'll see. We're working on it. We'll make our way around the world. Considered working on a factory racing team. Um, I thought about it, but honestly, I love what I'm doing right now. Uh, videos and social media stuff. I, I love it. I don't know if I could give it up. Um, the, the grind of working for a factory team and working on the circuit is pretty tough. I, I would be able to do it, but right now, health-wise, I, I wouldn't be able to. It would have to be later on. But I don't really... I don't know if I'd ever do it just because I see so many guys get burnt out on it. They'll, they'll work as a mechanic or work in the industry for five or six years and they get burnt out and they're like, you know, I don't even care to be uh, in the industry anymore and they go get a, a job somewhere else. So I never really want to get burnt out on, on this whole uh, motocross thing. What's the fastest you've ever gone in a bike or a car? Uh, let's see, on a bike, it's probably been on a bike, on a R1. Hmm, maybe 160, 150, somewhere around there. Which, on a street bike, honestly, doesn't feel that fast. It feels like you're doing 80. Thoughts of a CR500? I would love to build a CR500 someday. That's definitely in the plans. Wanna, I had a hair scramble today and won. Woody's racing. Congrats, dude. That's awesome. You must have been riding good. If you had to pick one dirt bike for the rest of your life, what would you pick? I would just probably keep my 250. That would be the, the ideal bike. Honestly, it's not so much the bike. It's more, for me, it's like the reasons behind that bike. Like I built that bike going through leukemia and I've had uh, so much fun with that bike. And so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to get rid of that one. Uh, do a CR500 modern frame conversion. That would be the plan. I like, I love those conversions. There's something cool about the OEM or like the older style. But for me, if I was going to build a 500, I would do 
a, uh, I would do the conversion for sure. Have you had a 252 stroke before? I have. I've had them before. Um, never really ridden them a ton. I've always been a 250F guy. And so uh, that's pretty much the, the bikes I've ridden mostly up until this point until I got that 125 a couple years ago. And that 125 has been just so much fun. When will you finish the 250? That's coming soon. As soon as uh, those fork tubes come back from the coating, we're gonna be slapping this stuff together and that bike will be finished up pretty soon. Thanks, Jed. Jed Kirkman, Kirkman appreciate that. Any thins here? I'm finished. Uh, next T50 video will be tomorrow or Tuesday. How to learn to ride faster on MX track. Um, that all comes from just technique and practice. So you go the kind of how it works is you go slower to go faster. A lot of times when you slow down and practice the right technique in time, you know, it'll take weeks or months to really build up speed, but it's all in the technique. Um, message you on Insta for some advice on buying a CR125, anything to look out for. I did do a video on covering um, how to buy a used bike without getting, you know, jacked over by, um, by the owner. And that video is up on the channel, so that covers most of it. As far as things particular with that bike, I would say... Let me think. Definitely make sure it's not so much to the CR125, but make sure the uh, air filter is clean. That'll indicate how well the bike was maintained. Um, another thing to look out for is, let's see, linkage. Linkage is something that wears out pretty quickly on uh, pretty much any bike as well. But that, yeah, that video covers it. It's uh, the video is called "How to Not Get Screwed Over by Any Used Through Bike." You rocking knee braces or knee guards? Neither. I've never, never done uh, knee braces or knee guards. Never had a, a knee issue ever. Any plans on getting married? Yeah, definitely at some point. Do you hear that? What? Did you hear that? Yes. You did? You should come over here. <laughs> Haley's in the other room. She doesn't want to be on the stream tonight. Um, four stroke or two stroke for the rest of your life. Oh man, what's more fun? I would say a two stroke. Have you ever had a bike blow up from detonation? I haven't. No, never had that issue before. You're looking 20 years younger with the beard? Man, I don't know about that. <laughs> what do I look, 12? I'm just kidding. How much did you pay for the CR125? Uh, let me think. I think I paid fifteen hundred, and uh, fifteen hundred probably put about five hundred in it to fix it up. So not yeah, maybe two grand, twenty two hundred into it total. Let's see here. Let's see the hair. You guys like it? I'm I'm two tone right now. Look at this. On the side, I got red a red beard and like blonde or like. Dirty blonde hair, it's, it's pretty crazy. Has a kill switch ever failed on you? Hmm. I don't think so. I can't ever recall, unless I crashed and like damaged the kill switch somehow, but um, never really had a kill switch just straight up fail. Love the videos and the build. Thank you, Isaiah Fitzgerald. Appreciate that. Do you pay for Rocky Mountain stuff? So Rocky Mountain supports the channel quite a bit. We have a pretty good deal going on. But uh, oh, there's actually a lot of stuff I just straight up buy because I need from them. What premix oil do you use? Most of the time I run 927. Um, it depends on, say for my jet ski, I, a lot of times I just run the Lucas oil. That's pretty good stuff. Uh, for my bikes, it's most of the time Castor 927. What made you stick with Honda throughout the years? That would be probably just because I like the color red. <laughs> no, um, they always see, or they always seem to be like really well built. I'm used to how they're put together. 
they they're engineered in a way that makes sense like for example like if you're pulling the engine out you don't have to take everything off you know there's or taking the head off there's not like all this stuff in the way i just really like the way they're engineered and uh that's always kept me around i just think they're overall throughout the years they're better quality than than other bikes uh please make a video about your waiting proposal that we'll see about we'll see if we can work something like that out that would be pretty cool uh, my question didn't get put in donation. Uh, what do you, if powder coated frame chipping? If your powder coating is chipping on your frame, you're just simply gonna have to strip it off and recoat it. If it's aluminum, I wouldn't recommend doing powder coating on aluminum. Um, it just honestly wears through pretty quickly on steel as well. But um, and if you are gonna do powder coating on a frame, I would recommend running frame guards, uh, grip tape on the frame something to cover up um, that powder coating so that we your boots don't wear through it right away. What ratio of oil do you use for premix? Uh, 125 is 40 to one. And then 250 be 40 to one as well. Has one of your bikes blown up while you are riding? Um, yeah, actually I had a CRF 250 a while back and that video is up on the channel. You can, uh, you can go back and watch it. This was like 2011, I want to say. Yeah, there's a there's a video of my a GoPro video of my Sierra 50 blowing up. It honestly wasn't that cool. It just made like a. It sounded like I had the Kickstarter down, like you know when the bike's running, and you accidentally push the Kickstarter down. It makes like that ticking sound. And uh, so it sounded like that. And I looked down, and my bottom of my case was just shattered. Like there was oil coming out, aluminum pieces falling out. So it was pretty trashed. Uh, 32 to one too rich for a max. Uh, for a 125, 32 to one is fine. You gotta be on the pipe pretty hard to, to burn up all that oil. But um, yeah, 32 to one is fine. Let's see, there's a good question up here. I missed it. Do you plan to stay in the moto industry for a career? Yes, definitely. That's the plan. I don't um, don't really plan on going anywhere else. My heart's in motocross and and uh, dirt bikes and and all that. I might say like years down the road, I might spread out a little bit further. Maybe do um, street bikes. You know, I I would love to have a do a street bike build or maybe a side by side build. You know, around the house, I you know I'd need a side by side for uh, plowing the driveway, that kind of thing. So it'd be cool to to build one of those. Not that I'd you know replace um, dirt bikes with a side by side, but that would be a lot of fun. All right, I'm gonna hang out here for another couple minutes and answer some more questions. We've got some good ones coming in. When is the give the giveaway at? Did the giveaway earlier in the video? Gave away. The rotor guard, the trim coat, and the um, uh, gift card. So, yeah, we uh, we did that earlier in the video. As soon as this live video is done, I'll post this video up on my YouTube, and you guys can go back, watch through it, see all the questions I answered, see who won the giveaways, and um, just kind of go through and back through and watch it. Supermoto build. I would love to do a supermoto build someday. That would be fun. Maybe even like a 500 in a modern frame or something. That would be insane. How dumb are air forks? I really haven't used air forks that much. I haven't, honestly, I've never torn into them. But I know just from uh, riding a few bikes with air forks and kind of seeing reviews online about them, they're not, not the greatest. I'm glad the industry kind of went away from that. Or all the manufacturers kind of went back to spring. Smitty MX videos. Appreciate that, man. How do you strip powder coat aluminum frame if sandblasted? Um, sandblasting, depending on what blaster you're using, it should take off the, the powder coating. Um, but the easiest way to go about that is, I just ran into this not too long ago. So my brother, Devin was trying to strip powder coat off his uh, his car wheels 
like this stuff was really, really thick powder coat. And we tried uh, using paint stripper, we tried sandblasting, that stuff was on there like really, really good. It wouldn't come off. So what we ended up doing or what he ended up doing is finding a local shop, powder coating shop that had a dip tank. And the dip tank just dissolves all of that powder coating and brought it right down to, uh, to raw material. So that would be the easiest way. The second best way would be to send it out to a sandblaster, have them or a blasting company and have them blast it. Uh, let's see. Snowmobile. Would you ever get a snowmobile? Um, I've had one in the past, but not, not really my jam during the, during the winter, I'm pretty much just working all the time in the shop. Have you considered side-by-side -side UTV? Yeah, I was uh, talking about that not too long ago. I think it'd be a lot of fun to have one around the house, mostly just for uh, kind of farm use, that kind of thing. But also just go rip up in the, up in the hills from time to time. Be fun to do a build on one. Got a fat head on my CR125. Keeps blowing head O-rings after 15 minutes. Um, I would contact Fathead, contact Lucas over there and see um, if that's something he he's ran into. I haven't heard of that happening with mine. I haven't run it yet, so I haven't really experienced it too much. But from everyone else I've seen, they've worked really good. And um, if you send a message to Lucas, he'll tell you, he'll either send you new O-rings if those ones are bad or um, tell you exactly what to do. Maybe it's a issue with your cylinder, if it's warped or something, that could do it too. Uh, have you ever considered ATVs? Not too much in the, the quad stuff. So I don't think I'd ever do a build on one or like ever really get one. Maybe for around the house, pulling the driveway you know, kind of a, a farm vehicle, but <clears throat> nothing for any type of project or uh, any, any kind of fun like that. Gregory Ferrara, appreciate your videos, man. They've helped me so much and I'm the guy my friends bring their bikes to to be fixed. Glad I could help out, man. That's awesome. Roxon or Tomac? Mm, that's a good question. I'm a Honda guy, so I'd have to go uh, Roxon, but Man, I've always been a, a Tomac fan too. All right, couple more, couple more questions here. How did you become affiliated with Revive Moto? Revive Moto is a business I started 13, 14 years ago, something like that. And uh, so I've had it still, I still have it. I don't really add any inventory to it, but I've been, uh, I've owned that business since I was 13 or 12, somewhere around there. Love your workshop. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate that. What do I do about water in my crankcase? Just rebuilt the bottom end. Um, water in your crankcase. That would be water pump seals. The seal from the water pump to the crankcase. That would do it. So I definitely check your water pump first. Why do you think most manufacturers stopped making our favorite two strokes? That's a good question. For Honda, I think it was emissions related. <clears throat> they've always been really eco-friendly. They've always wanted to like, you know, be green friendly, that kind of thing. So they believe that two strokes were, um, you know, adding to pollution or whatever. And so they quit making them and pretty much, or they switched over to, to four strokes. And I think part of it has to do with um, maybe four strokes are more profitable. Maybe they sell better. But I think overall it had to do with emissions and which is weird, like KTM and Husky, Yamaha, Gas Gas, all these other companies still make two strokes, but they never, uh, I don't know. I don't know why the Japanese quit making them. Yeah, it is BS. I don't, I don't really like it too much, but also it makes two strokes more more valuable or like more nostalgic when they're not made anymore. So it's, you know, there's two sides to it as well. 
Can you do a YZ125 restoration? That would be sweet. I would, uh, I do have a 125 already, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I can get my hands on one. All right, a couple more questions here, then I'm gonna, gonna dip out of here. Bought an O2 CR125 frame to start as a build bike. Heck yeah, man. CR125s, those bikes are so much fun. Big bore two strokes. That's where it's at, man. Hope to do a 500 build someday. That would be a blast. Um, one more question here. Doing the giveaway? Giveaway, we did that earlier in the video. Once I finish up the stream and end it, I'll post on YouTube, you guys can go back through and, and watch it. Uh, how big is your shop house? So it is 36 by 48. It's, uh, so what is that, 1,700 square feet? So the shop space is like 1,200 square feet. Um, house is around 500, 600. So yeah, just enough space to, to really live and work. I love it. Thanks, Brett. Appreciate that. Um, all right, last question here. Chevy Radaz88 says, I just want to know how you were doing, period. How's your health? Um, hope all is well. Things are really good. Um, we've, let's see, where are we at right now? We're still battling one little issue. It's um, a blood-related issue. We're, I think we got the solution for that. But as far as how I'm feeling, I'm doing really good right now. Back to work. Um, back to work out unfortunately can't quite can't quite uh ride dirt bikes yet but that will be within the next couple weeks and so i'm really really amped for that hopefully the 250 is done just in time so we can get back to riding and you know hop on that bike and whatnot but yeah I'm, i've been doing really really good lately and uh as far as treatment stuff goes we have let's see I have one next week, and then from here on out, it's going to be one every month for the next two years. So pretty simple stuff. I have a port in my chest right here. I don't know if you guys have seen that before. The line runs up to my neck, but um, that's how they give me all the uh, the treatment and stuff. So honestly, it's pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty simple, and I can, I can live with it. That's all I got to do from here on out then uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Thanks for reading my comments. Loved all your videos, keep making them. All right, guys, um, had a good time chatting with you, giving some stuff away. Hope the, the winners who won the stuff, the trim coat, the trim coat and the uh, rotor guard and the gift card were on here. That would be super cool. Um, to those guys that won, I will be sending you an email, get your shipping address, mail this stuff out to you. So keep an eye out for the next video will be out. Let me, let me think like tomorrow or Tuesday. I'm gonna actually should probably get busted on it right now, finish it up. But thanks for uh, watching the stream guys and I will see you in that video. Take care.